make a video and showing you how to make a SVG file like a color layer file from a coloring page so we're gonna go ahead to upload I previously selected an image from Google and I saved it in my computer it's this one it's a Pikachu this is a good example because it has few colors so I'm gonna bring this up to 80 and the reason being is look what happens if I use 16 you see the specs here so if I bring this up to 80 look no more specs that's a number that you always play with depending on the colors you're cleaning you can go higher or you have to stay in low numbers alright so there it is I'm gonna save it as a cut image and now we're gonna use contour we're gonna duplicate and, cont and use contour to create all the colors so let's go ahead and duplicate and let's start easy let's start with the cheeks and the tongue let me hide all cheeks tongue that's going to be pink now let's duplicate that hide all we're gonna do the white let's see that will be white perfect and now let's duplicate again and I think I only have to do the yellow which is this 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 um, what else this this I think that's all let's see let's see what we have So if we put this here, yeah, we have to get rid of those little dots there because this is white. Okay, so let's see now. White, pink, oh, and I'm missing this here. So let me go back to yellow and add that. So this is how people regularly do it. They go ahead and they iron on the yellow one. Then they go ahead and add the black. Let me move it to the front. Right, and then the pink and the white. But the problem of this is that in reality, when you go ahead and you do this, the yellow layer, for some reason, is always going to shrink a little bit in the fabric. I've tried a lot of brands and it always happens and you end up getting a gap something very small but you have a gap between the black and the yellow and uh, you don't want that when you're selling a, a shirt so the way to avoid this it's like this what you're gonna do is this is going to be all black hide all all black and then what you're going to do is you see what I'm doing here and I go ahead and oh let me clean that chick there it shouldn't be there you're going to go ahead and add your yellow and now your white you see we have the same thing but it's different because what happens is that when you're making your shirt you go ahead and you iron the black then you put the white one on top that's going to have all the holes that we need to show up the black then you start putting your other colors and you're never going to have that edge it's not going to happen because you have a solid background and the idea behind this is not only for iron-on it's also when you're working with vinyl if you have a solid background like that it's very easy to hide any mistake alright if you have any question let me know